Hi, I'm William. I'm Daphne. And both of our grandmothers have Alzheimer's for the past six years. The reason why we made this documentary is because one, Alzheimer's is currently the most expensive disease to treat in America. And number two, there currently is no viable cure. So we hope to spread the importance of this issue out there and enjoy the documentary. You're <笑> 你看这个都是, With over 44 million Alzheimer's patients worldwide, we don't want our grandmothers to be another statistic before there's nothing else left to do. Alzheimer's obviously has detrimental impacts on both our grandmothers and families, but what exactly is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative condition. Uh, it's a progressive disease that uh, where brain cells are destroyed in the brains of mostly older folks over a period of many years. Alzheimer's brains look very different than normal brains. They're shrunken. Uh, there's a lot of dead tissue. People who have the illness, the people who live with a, a family member or loved one with Alzheimer's disease, have tremendous struggles just in their daily life, just to keep um, above water and all the daily tasks that need to be um, completed. It's excruciatingly painful for everyone to see that person become someone that they didn't used to be. My mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease about uh, seven years ago. It was a shock to me at first that she's losing her memory and remembering what day it is and even what she did half an hour ago and sometimes she even gets lost and doesn't remember where she is at. The memory problem sometimes can be frustrating for the family members because the patients may not always remember correctly uh, what happened and it may lead to miscommunication confusions or you know some hard feelings at home. They just don't realize what they're doing is really creating some trouble. Living with an Alzheimer patient is not a one-time thing. It's, a, it's constant, it's daily, and the frustration is kind of always there. The natural reaction, if somebody asks you something five times and you get frustrated with them, is, is that you, you will get frustrated, you kind of lash out a little bit, right? One or the other, your tone of voice, it's not just going to be as patient, but after a little bit, you know, they, you can see that she's upset, she's sad, or she kind of realized she's asked that many times. Now you feel bad too, because now you've known that you understand that she can help, but you, you can help it yourself. So I think it's that constant balance of your emotions that's really the toughest. It's not so much you got frustrated and go over, but you're left with the guilt that, oh, you caused some pain to her. So probably the most common medication uh, we dispense for Alzheimer's is Aricep. And that is not a cure for Alzheimer's, but what, what it does is it prevents the disease from progressing, from getting worse. This is the medicine dispenser we got from my mom. Uh, without it, she used to overdose and take medicine, too much medicine, or forget to eat a medicine. We got her this so it'll control what she eats every day. Out of the top 10, it's the only one that we don't have a treatment for, a prevention, or a cure. And the baby boomers, and the baby boomers are not just in America, but worldwide, the baby boomers are turning 65, which is the age of risk, at a rate of 10,000 a day. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. With more than 5 million Americans currently living with Alzheimer's, one in three senior citizens dies with Alzheimer's or dementia. Every 66 seconds, someone in the U.S. develops Alzheimer's. And by the mid-century, someone in the U.S. will develop the disease every 33 seconds. This is a major problem, and it's going to break our Medicare and Medi Medicaid system. And of course, when you consider the 
untold suffering that these individuals and their families, it should be a major priority, the priority in our country. Finding a cure to Alzheimer's is a substantial goal, but here are little things you can do right now that will have a big impact on finding a cure soon. And we, I really encourage them to seek that out and try to find as much help um, as possible, whether it's within their own family or from agencies like the Alzheimer's Association. It's really important to um, stay engaged, be positive, uh, live a healthy lifestyle, even if you're caring for someone with Alzheimer's disease. People don't always realize that um, volunteering to be a, a healthy control in a research project, talking with them about whether they might want to volunteer to participate in research. I think that science is incredibly important in our society and young scientists are going to be the key to solving these kinds of problems. What I'd like to see is a significant treatment, a disease-altering treatment. That's the goal. It is in everyone's best interest for, for us to put more funding towards getting a treatment for this disease. Everyone is going to be affected by this sooner or later. Everyone. When I go and do talks and I say, who's been touched by this? Who has someone they love with this? About a third of people raise their hands. In the next 10 years, everyone is going to be raising their hands. Thank you for watching our documentary, and we hope you learned a lot. And we would really appreciate it if you spread the word about this issue, because one day it'll affect you too. There's a link down in the description uh, to our GoFundMe. All proceeds will go to the Alzheimer's Association and the UCSF Medical Research Department to help find and cure Alzheimer's. So feel free to donate. Any little bit helps. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.